Hey everybody, it's Derek with Derek Stig, and today um, I'm going to discuss what I'm digging. Um, I haven't done a Halloween haze post in a while. I honestly, at the time of filming this video, I don't even remember if we are on part three, four, or if this is this video. So I'm just going to stop numbering them. Honestly, I mean, I think I'm going to pull a Halloween. You know how they did like. Halloween 1, 2, 3, you know, etc. And then they did Halloween, like, H2O. Well, I, I think I'm going to do, like, Halloween H I, I I don't... XT1. I have no idea. So, anyway. Um, today, I went to the Pumpkin Farm. And um, I went to Weber's. It was out in Parkville. And if you have... You live in Maryland and you have not been to Weber's, I do recommend it. It's a cider mill farm, and um, they have delicious. It's a they they serve frozen apple cider slushies. Oh my God, are they good? Um, obviously, so that would be the first thing that I am digging um, for this Halloween. And so, if you get a chance, I do highly recommend going out. If not, I'm sure you can make your own. Um, Obviously, it's probably just apple cider and a blender and some ice, and you do that. So, um, begin while we're on the terms of apple cider. Now, um, apple cider is filled with sugar, and so if you are looking for something uh, with a healthier alternative, um, I would try this Bigelow um, apple cider. Um, it's a spiced uh, cider herb tea, and so I add a little bit of agave sweetener in it, and you can drink it iced or you can drink it warm. I like doing it with like some um, cinnamon, like doing some mulled cider with this. Um, it's pretty awesome, so I recommend that. Now, um, obviously this is my pumpkin that I got from uh, the pumpkin farm, and I put inside a Yankee uh, candle. It is the Ten Witches Brew. And, which leads me to my next uh, dish, are these, um, actually I'll take this off, these um, Ganesh sticks uh, from Five Below. This is the scent uh, Ghostly Glow. It smells awesome. It's, um, so what I did was I stuck a stick of this in the pumpkin, so while the candle is lit, it's also emitting an awesome aroma. So that's a little tip if you're looking, um, to be spooky while also create some great fragrances. Try something, uh, like cinnamon or pumpkin spiced, um, um, incense in your candle. Or a scented candle. I mean, in your pumpkin. You know what I mean. Um, the next thing is obviously after you um, carve a pumpkin and hollow it out and all that good stuff, um, pumpkin seed. And so, and if you're wondering where I got this nifty uh, snack dish from, I got this from Walmart, and so um, I originally bought this for the premiere of Constantine, which is um, and a shameless plug on their behalf. Um, October 24th at uh, 10 p.m. It is a Friday, and you know you got nothing better to do than to watch that, like I do, okay? So come on now. Anyway, back to my day. So, um... I would say pumpkin seeds are my favorite Halloween time treat, and so that is one of my days. Um, also from Five Below, I bought this straw. It comes in a pack, I believe, of five. And it's these little skulls. They have different ones. I know that they had that. I think that they, I mean, yeah, they had skulls in the back. And so, um, 
it as a nice when I'm normally not using my Witcher's Burn Log, as you've probably seen from my Instagram and my first uh, Halloween hate post. I used it. So, that concludes what I'm digging for right now. Um, look for more. I do have some video um, that I took from the pumpkin patch when I went and some photos. I'm sure you've seen um, the one on my Instagram. If you have not, uh, my Instagram tag is Petty, P-E-T-T-Y, underscore Dabbler, D-A-B-B-L-E-R. And follow me and also view the, um, the picture that I put up of <laughs> the new Barbie in the, um, in the bushel of pumpkins. I titled it Party Hard because obviously she's had a very hard um, Halloween kiss. I'm a lot better off than her, but um, that could be where I'm heading to. So. All right. Well, I thank you for uh, checking me out, and um, see ya.